Cherry Jones is queen of stage and screen, earning a Tony Award and two Emmys for her work. Her latest role has her defending Jacob, starring in the new limited series as a defense attorney whose 14-year-old client is accused of murder. Watch this. Oh, you don't honestly think he belongs on the stand? No, of course not, but we can't just deflect. Juries want a story and we gotta give them one, a better one. I don't disagree, but right now, all the evidence points one way. And I'm sorry, I'm speaking to you lawyer to lawyer here. The knife they found in the park. You saw the forensics report. It's not a match. He didn't do it, Joanna. I know his story sucks, but he's a kid. They get confused. They say dumb things. I know. He's innocent. We're going to get him through this, I promise. And Cherry is with me now. Cherry, it is so good to see you. Thanks for joining me today. Oh, thank you, thank you, Sarah. Let me tell you what I did my whole day yesterday. I binged the entire series. Yes. Oh my gosh. What was it about this show that gripped you from the beginning? Had you read the book? How did it come to you? You know, I had not read the book. And, and even after I got the part, I did not read the book. Oh, do you, and, do you and, often do that? I, I do, because often when plays or films are taken from books, I think usually script writers get a little bit of leeway, especially for a limited series. It allows them to, to develop characters in a way that maybe were not in, developed in the book. But I know William, the writer of the book, was very much a consultant on the show. So I think the thing that drew me to it was that when I was a child, my parents used to always tell me that they would love my sister and I unconditionally. Yeah. And so as a child, I would come up with all sorts of horrible things, you know, skipping <laughs> school. Or, will you love me if I run away from home? Will you love me? <laughs> and then finally, when they would say, yes, 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 finally, what if I stole something? Oh, my God. What if I murdered someone? And my mother said yes, unconditionally. And that's what this beautiful series is about, is, is yeah. unconditional love and what that does to a family under these kind of extraordinary pressures. It was so good. Um, and, and a lot of reviewers are saying that this part was custom built for you. When you read scripts oh. and you're reading your part, do you know immediately, you're like, this, yes, this is meant for me. This is my role. I knew it was something I, I really wanted to tackle. Um, I've never played a lawyer before. In all my years, I have never played a lawyer. And the thing that's so great for an actor in a courtroom, of course, is it's like a theater. You've got yeah. an audience, you've got this wide open space, and uh, you're trying to persuade. But it was funny, learning the dialogue was very different uh, for a lawyer. Lawyers work in different ways than other characters I've played. So that was, uh, that was a little daunting at first. Well, you know, it's funny because my producer and I both watched, and we both said... This is the lawyer that we want, should we ever need a lawyer. What is it like playing this calm, measured lawyer when this family is kind of falling apart? My mother was a school teacher, so basically I always just play mother when yeah. I have to be calm <laughs> and, yeah. and in charge. But I mean, it is lovely that the part is someone who is uh, able to offer some calm in the middle of the storm for that little family. At least they know. They've got somebody completely on their side since nobody else is. I and, you know, know, I still don't know how it ends. Playing this part, I thought, I don't want to know how it ends. There's no reason for me to know how it ends. So don't tell me anything. Oh, don't I won't. Me. I won't tell you anything. When you're not on screen, you're obviously on stage. The first time I saw you was in doubt. I fell in oh. love with you and you won the Tony for that. My producer saw you in Glass Menagerie. Is there a dream role for you that you just are dying to play and you haven't been able to play? I always say that, that my dream role is the one that, that I haven't seen yet, that hasn't been written yet. yet, sort of move through my career like that. I say I depend on the kindness of artistic directors and, and directors. Yes. Well, I know Broadway's um, dark right now, but a lot of people are home kind of finding other creative outlets. Have you taken on any new hobbies or <laughs> cooked more? or done? What, well, have you been, what have you been doing in quarantine, Sherry? Honestly, I've been reading a lot, listening to a lot of podcasts, and making pot holders. I like to give pot holders as wrap presents. You know, I love that. people have them forever. Cherry, thank you so much for taking the time today. And uh, you can catch Defending Jacob streaming now on Apple TV Plus. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sarah.